Welcome to the Keeping It Real podcast. I'm Allie Vasquez with Carrots Realty Group based out of Frederick, Maryland. So if you know about me, you know that I just moved to Walkersville and I absolutely love it. And I am your Walkersville home girl. So I wanted to give you a kind of my top three transactions that I've done in Walkersville. And we can talk about, you know, the stories behind it and just, you know, let you know that I know my shit in Walkersville. The first home I ever sold in Walkersville to was, was to a lovely lady. We'll call her Yasmin. And Yasmin, uh, worked in a restaurant. And typically those people who work in restaurants, it's very, very hard to prove their income. Why? Because they don't make a whole lot on paper and they make a lot off of tips and they have to show a certain amount. It is really super difficult to prove that somebody who works in a restaurant makes enough money to buy a house. Not only were we able to get her a gorgeous little townhouse, and in that time, like the amount of money that she spent on that townhouse was so little, and we got such a great deal on it. We got her into this lovely renovated townhome in Discovery, but we were also able to use Frederick County funds, and she came to the closing table with almost no money out of pocket, and she still lives there this day. She's a single mom with her daughter. They have the cutest golden retriever now. I They saw them get this golden retriever, and I nearly shit my pants because it was so cute. Um, but they, you know, it's just, just really awesome to see a single mom from another country, uh, working in a restaurant, able to purchase a home and continue to live there successfully with her daughter. Transaction number two on my Walkersville top three was with some very long time clients of mine. I have, I met them maybe about six years ago and I absolutely love them. And they are investors. They purchase homes and then they get them fixed up and then they rent them. They purchased a townhome that was a short sale, which if you know anything about a short sale, it's actually not short. It means that it's going to take a very long time. A short sale means that you are short the money to pay off the mortgage. And so it then pres- turns into a very long transaction because you have to get it um, approved by a negotiator and then the bank and it goes back and forth. And it probably takes three to three months minimum to close a short sale. But my investors, they definitely saw the value in it. Uh, They knew that it was going to be worth it. And so they stuck with it. Uh, We ended up closing on that house and then disaster struck because it turns out that the line from the street to the house, the sewer line, uh, to get to like the public sewer was completely damaged. Now, thankfully my, uh, buyers, these, um, these investors, they, he is a licensed contractor. And so he was like, okay, I could pay a whole lot of money for a company to do it, or I could do it myself. Don't get it twisted. He does very hard work. You have to dig very deep. Uh, you look like a coal miner when you come out of there. And then he had to replace the whole line himself, but thankfully it didn't cost him as much money as if he had hired someone to do it. And we were able to, you know, kind of sidestep disaster on that one, but they rented it super quickly. Didn't even need my help to a family that they knew. And every year the rent keeps going up. And, um, this, you know, they, this, I think this was their first investment property and they really knocked it out of the park with that one. The last one was over on Savannah court in Walkersville. And I had a seller who was an older woman and, um, she had owned the property for about 15 years. She had purchased using the Section 8 Frederick City program where they had helped her subsidize her mortgage. She was no longer um, under their program anymore. And she was older. Her daughter had some health problems and just the going up and down the stairs in a townhouse was no longer feasible for her. Those townhouses over there are, I think, priced amazingly for first time buyers. And so we had multiple offers on that one. We went, I think, $30,000 over list price. And um, she's still in the area and she still calls me for business, but we were able to to really sell that one very quickly for a lot of money. And uh, my seller was able to get more than she ever dreamed of on that house. And we knocked it out of the park on that one too. Those are my top three transactions in Walkersville. I look forward to many more. And if you haven't checked me out, have you seen What's Up Walkersville? We are all over every platform, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, we're everywhere. And we're figuring out exactly why this town is so incredible. And we're the best kept secret in Frederick County. Thanks for coming to the Keep It A Real podcast. I'll see you next time. Bye.